Hey everybody, so it is February 2023 and what's going on in the housing market in our area. So, you know, big picture stuff, market is stable with a hint to the side of good. So as of the last couple of years, the, the biggest drivers in the real estate market has been interest rates. You know, we saw rates probably dip to about five and a half, which was awesome, probably within the last 30 days. They have crept up again. They're probably about six and a half right now, maybe going to about that seven mark. Uh, probably because job numbers were up, which was a good sign for the economy. Inflation numbers were up for the last two you know, reports. So that's kind of showing that the Fed is probably going to raise those rates a little bit more, which will put some more pressure on mortgage interest rates and the 10-year treasury. But what we're seeing so far is properties are still moving. We are still seeing some highest and best, and a lot of that really is due to the lack of inventory that's out there. You know, when you're looking at properties on an investment side, it's hard because the rates are up and the numbers of the properties haven't, the prices of the property haven't really come down yet. So those are kind of stable. You're seeing that kind of pull away. I was told that uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are going to be putting some guidelines in on investor stuff come May. That will probably make it a lot harder to finance those properties and be more expensive to finance the investment side. But for people that are looking to be in the property and want to live there, I think those rates are going to fluctuate probably between that five and a half and six and a half, give or take, maybe a little more, a little less on either end for the next six months. But, you know, what we want to see as the market continues along, we get more into that spring, that we see a little bit more inventory coming up. You know, we were seeing those rates trend downward for a while, but like I said, they, they shot up over the last, uh, let's call it two to four weeks, and we're going to watch that and see where that comes in. You know, when we look at it, you know, when rates are at five and a half, we have very high demand. When rates were at that seven and a quarter, seven and a half, we saw a weaker demand. And there's a graph that we're going to post up with this that will kind of show you how what we saw over the last six to 12 months with interest rates as they started to climb, where kind of those demand levels were based on the interest rates that, there, that are out there. And I do encourage you, you know, reach out to me, check online. Just because the Fed raised the Fed funds rate does not mean that interest rates go up. Interest rates are directly, or not directly, but pretty much correlated to the 10-year Treasury yield. So if you see the 10-year Treasury yield go up, most likely mortgage interest rates are going to go up. Also, what we're seeing with some uncertainty is that the spread between, you know, the 10-year Treasury or the Fed funds rate and what mortgage rates are going to widen. As we get kind of some more certainty and things kind of come together, we're going to see that shrink a little bit. Even if we don't see the Fed funds rate or the 10-year Treasury yield go down, mortgage rates could go down a little bit because it's becoming a little bit more of a kind of certain market rather than bringing in big uncertainty. Like we talked about inventory, supply and demand. You know, we've talked about this a lot on the monthly market reports that inventory is going to be lower this year. 100%. I know a lot of people that they refinanced, so they were in something at 2.75, 3% interest rate. It didn't make sense for them to make a move now unless something changed in their life. So we're seeing that, and I do think that trend is going to continue for a little bit, you know, going forward. You know, we're going to talk about the foreclosures and short sales, but not a huge issue that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, Mike Simonson, CEO of Atlas Research, said, I'm looking at the latest housing data and I see surprising demand indicators, including home price resiliency and supply staying restricted. Who would have guessed that? Pretty much what we talked about. They've been saying this for a while, that they were expecting less people to put their homes on the market. We're not going to see that big foreclosure, you know, coming. And even if we did, if we saw a big wave in New York, it's probably on average four years from the start of missed payments to actually being a foreclosure mark that we're seeing right now at the auctions these are things from maybe 2013 2014 definitely pre-pandemic uh, that are coming up on the auction block and there still is very limited supply on that as well so uh, big banks being able to revise their forecast a lot of people thought that the market and the big banks were going to be down about 6.1 percent uh, coming up at the end of um, 2023. I think what they're seeing now for the beginning of 2024, about 2.6% nationally. But I think what we're going to see in our area here is we're going to see flats a little bit of a, a bump up there. I do believe that the first time home buyers that, you know, bought the property and are still buying, they probably have been in their jobs for 8, 10, 15 years and they're buying a home now. Whereas other parts of the country where homes were $120,000 that are now probably 200, those are probably a few people a few years out of college, stuff like that, just starting their careers. So I think we're going to still see some of that demand. Metro New York, New York City is doing pretty solid right now. Um, and I think that's going to continue forward to the spring. 
We talked about with foreclosures, we're not expecting a huge amount coming out there. There will be more in the country. In other states, the foreclosure process does happen a little bit quicker than us. But, you know, we'll kind of see that, play that around, but I'm not expecting a major issue on that. So overall, sum it up, market stable. You know, if you're looking to buy, you do get a little bit more of an opportunity right now. You got to be a little careful with those interest rates rising again a little bit just to make sure that you don't, you know, lock into something and you're at the top of your debt to, in, debt to income ratios at five and a half percent and then it goes to six and a half. So, you know, when we're sitting down and we're doing our buyer consult, I want to make sure that you have some room in there and be able to make sure that, you know, if there is a change in the market, you're still going to be able to purchase. And on the seller side, that works for the seller as well. We want to make sure where they are on their debt to income ratio make sure that it's not closed so if it does change that that deal can still hit a closing table so if you have questions want to see what your home is worth now what's going on with the market specifically for you feel free reach out click on the links below happy to connect and go over things